So now let's just design the dashboard UI that is the buttons for blocking and unblocking the users, riders and sellers. Also we will add the logout button. So for that purpose what we need to do? We will use a row widget okay and in each row basically three row widgets for example in one row widget we will add two buttons and then we will use another second row widget and then two buttons in the second row and then another third row widget inside which we will add also two buttons now you will see what I mean okay inside the column widget after adding the time and displaying the time and text let's add here a comment that is user activate and deactivate or you can say activate and block account users activate and block buttons UI okay so as I told you we will use a raw widget and inside this raw widget we will basically add two buttons two elevated buttons so the first button which will be for activate user account and then the second button will be for block user account so for activate we can say elevated button dot icon okay let's use an icon also with the button so the icon on the button it will be icons dot percent comma color color will be white and as it will be constant so we will add const modifier with it then comes the label using the text widget we can display our title for this button or you can say the level for this button so you can say activate user accounts and we want to display this in uppercase that is every character in uppercase so we can say to uppercase let's apply some text style on it so text style font size will be 16 color will be of course color start white and letter spacing will be 3 and let's add a const modifier with text style as it will be constant after the label comes the third property for elevated button dot icon which is the click event on pressed let's just check how it looks as you can see this is our button activate user account but we have to add some padding also to make our design more beautiful so we have to move this button at the center so for that purpose inside I mean here in the raw widget we can say man x is alignment man x is alignment dot center and let me restart and show it to you guys okay just like this now after this we need to add some padding to over this button so after the label we can say style elevated button dot style from first of all let's give some padding from all sides let's say 20 let's hot restart okay as you can see it looks more beautiful now and now also we have to change the color of our this button so the primary color will be colors dot amber okay activate user accounts so this is our first button now this is for the activate button basically now let's compress this elevated button okay this whole piece of code 
and now let's design our other button which is for block so this is our block button and this was for the activate so anyways now for the block of course we have to change this to block user users accounts and the next thing is to change the color of the button so we can go with cyan let's restart as you can see here if you want you can increase the padding that is let's give it 40 and also for the TV add button let's change it to 40 first of all we have to hot restart okay just like this so it is up to you I mean which one you like and then let's add some space between the buttons so for that purpose we can add a size box between the activate and block button as you know we are inside the row so width of let's add uh, 40 or 20 will be enough 40 is too much I think I mean we will test it of course now how it looks as you can see here okay the space between the buttons in small size screens and in long size I mean big size screen so anyways now also if you want you can simply break the text that is to make this design looks more beautiful for example let me tell you what I mean I'm going to separate these two strings okay using the concatenation sign plus okay activate user accounts and in between I'm going to move the accounts text to the next line by simply typing here slash n okay just like this same goes here block user so I'm going to separate these and now if we restart and here you can see activate user account block user account so this one looks more good as well okay also when we do that make sure to add this also with the with here okay just like this we want this in capital letter as well just like accounts and same goes here okay now if we hot restart then here we go here you can see so in this way it looks more good now let's just add the other remaining buttons okay so this was our first row basically okay which contain two buttons two elevated buttons with icons the first one is for activate user account the other one is for block user accounts so just like we did here okay the activate button and the block button this was for user activate and block accounts button UI I'm going to add a comment after this row and now we are going to add for the sellers activate and blog accounts button UI so all we need is just to copy paste this whole row code okay just paste it here okay so now if we expand the first button we have to simply change the here that is sellers activate sellers account and then the second button which is block sellers accounts okay and yes we have to change the icons for the activate we have person add while for the block we have to use the icon which is by the name block underscore flipped okay block sellers also we have to change it for the users inside the users the block button icon let's change this okay just like this please follow the same steps now I'm going to restart so here you can see it activate user accounts block user accounts activate sellers account block sellers account of course we will add some spacing 
now let's give it cyan color and to this one we will give the amber color okay it will mo mo make the design more beautiful for example inside the sellers okay change the active button to cyan and the block button to amber just like this also let's add some spacing between the buttons so as you know our whole this page okay home screen page is inside the parent widget which is column widget if you remember here it is okay so inside the column we have to just specify the main axis alignment main axis alignment dot space evenly which will give space evenly between the buttons okay just like this as you can see here it looks more beautiful now now the last button which is for the riders okay the other row let me just minimize this step by step okay so we have user seller and now first of all I will add a comment that is riders and copy this whole row and just paste that here okay so riders so first of all we have to change the color to amber for the activate riders accounts and then for the block you will change the color to cyan and as this is riders so we will say riders now let's restart and see here you can see it okay so it looks really cool that is really cool and then at last we have to add our logout button first of all let me minimize this so this is our riders then the sellers and our user okay so users two button inside the row then the sellers two button inside the row and then the riders button inside the row after this okay now for the time saving inside from the row let's just copy any button okay any elevated button dot icon and then outside this row we can simply paste it just like this and let me add here a comment that is this is our logout button for the admin so we can simply say that is log out just log out okay now let's restart app and see okay just like this now of course the color you can change from cyan to amber or any color you want okay according to the UI of our entire app so this looks really beautiful and really nice let's quickly change the icon for the logout which is by the name logout okay this icon as you can see here okay so yeah it looks pretty now let's say if your computer or as you know when you when the user common user who will use or let's say the admin let's say your computer screen size is big or small so according to that our design will adjust this is how flutter is okay flutter is really awesome for any kind of application development as you can see here that is really incredible okay trust me personally i love flutter okay and you can see the magic just see the design okay which is normally not possible with the traditional html and css but with flutter dot programming language you can do anything you want so that is really incredible and really nice okay responsive responsive web app as you can see here so yeah that is really cool and really nice and if in order to remove this debug okay banner you have to simply go to the manda dot and from here you already know we have to just write here that is debug show check banner mode 
and we have to set it to false and if you restart the app then here you can see that has been disappeared so this is how our UI looks now okay which is more responsive and more beautiful so let's say if you have a computer with small screen size or a laptop with small screen size let's say like this much okay this is the smallest screen size for a laptop or let's say for any computer with LCD or LED okay or let's say if you have big screen size then it will be like this or even let's say if you have further more small size like this okay I mean below this we have no other sizes okay I mean related to the computer or laptop screen sizes as you know this is a web portal so of course the admin will view it in a browser okay so for the web I mean this is the more responsive UI as it can fit to a big screen size as well as to a small screen size okay like this